Yes. I legitimately don't care because Joe Biden and Kamala Harris ran the country into the ground. I want directionally a center-right government, and I don't give a crap what some celebrity thinks about it who's got hundreds of millions of dollars. He's not affected by their policies. But, but working thinks. people in Kentucky do care about it, and that's where I live, and that's who I represent. I agree with you, yeah. Scott, on that. I don't... Yes, that is impressive. Democrat are obsessed with celebrity endorsement. Scott said it. I don't give a damn. That is not all. This lady had this to say, partaken to Kamala. This message is for the government and anybody else who thinks they can slow us down. You obviously don't know what kind of people we are. You ever heard the saying, come hell or high water? Well, we're, here we are. You want to try to stop us? We'll find another way around you. Newsflash to you again. We know the mountains like the back of our hands. Those are our people. You ain't going to do jack shit. We're going to do everything we can. You want to push us? We push back harder. You don't think that's going to happen? Keep pushing us. We don't roll over. We don't back down. We will get to our brothers and sisters without you. We don't need you. So the media is actively lying about this. She is right. You can see the level of frustrations here. What she said on this video is the truth. I went up today and I realized Trump is going back to Butler, Pennsylvania. When you look at the crowd, extremely concerning. I was impressed. Even Elon Musk is there. Now going into these videos, when you take a look at these articles, you can clearly see what the mainstream media is doing. They are de downgrading what Trump is doing about the hurricane that trump is spreading conspiracy trump is spreading light trump is doing this i've seen this over and over and this lady said something that even the mainstream media would not like so the media is actively lying about this being a trump claim because yesterday i saw this on three different news sources this unfortunately is the new york post this is the only screenshot i took i know this because i was researching for a video and i read three different articles none of them really made sense and now today i'm waking up to see it's like misinformation like no it's not you the one who told us this now when i go to look for those articles they're buried now because this has now become like a conspiracy theory or whatever i would say they're clearly doing it to cause division but also i'm now seeing also a lot of democrats and liberals and leftists making incredibly obnoxious and like smarmy videos about like do you know how the government works sort of excusing an atrocious tardy response are, are you guys aware that this happened last thursday like there's a person who's sitting somewhere right now with a collapsed lung who's like in a in a mud coffin and you guys are telling people basically to like shut up they're gonna get 750 dollars and you're saying this because you're like desperate for kamala harris to win i can tell that's what it's about you like don't want the administration to look bad the administration is doing a terrible job and you trying to excuse that is absolutely atrocious as you sit inside of your house and are like smarmily telling other people who are genuinely concerned about the lives of other human beings that they should like stand down about it in fact i just engaged with a woman on her video where people were like being gentle with her and like yeah well still this doesn't seem really good and she's like well, what are you doing about it i'm sorry what are citizens doing about the government not attending to its responsibilities with the money they gave your this is one thing i hate about the mainstream media when they start to propagate this it will reach a certain level now they said trump is blocking the relief effort by spreading some kind of messages on social media when you see a lady like this this is not all even i've seen videos upon videos where people are coming to talk against this like what is happening trump did his best call out the government to do more it is normal for them to do they came to say oh there is not enough money even fema i think i put out a video a few hours ago where fema said hmm that message is wrong the message they are saying that people will receive $750 is a lie. This is Kiera and the National Response Coordination Center. There's a rumor out there that FEMA is only providing survivors with $750. This is not true. One type of assistance, serious needs assistance, does provide survivors with $750 for essentials like baby formula, food, water, medication, and other essential apply supplies. But there are other forms that you may qualify for after you apply for disaster assistance. You can receive things like temporary housing or home repair costs. For more information, click the link. And shifting the blame onto them now? 
thinking well, you don't get how it works like these people are like dehydrating this is a terrible response they have the biggest military the strongest most powerful military in the world they could be flying helicopters over with like heat seeking technology but they're just getting a check now on friday again this happened on thursday of last week again you're just talking down to people who are really concerned and want to ask better from the response and this is the same thing that you guys are doing with the election is like you're blatantly lying so that you can get what you want and genuinely gaslighting other people it also makes me wonder if any of you have ever been in a disastrous situation or ever been in need of anything where like moments are important like no no they're mobilizing they're getting everything together no one wants to hear that like what if, what if these were your loved ones and the media is assuredly trying to be divisive because they clearly have like planted this whole story if anyone else i i am shocked that no one else is saying this because literally like i said yesterday i was researching this and i saw many articles that said the same exact thing that they're now saying is like a trump conspiracy that he's put into the public i'm also not saying that they stole from immigration i'm just saying like the idea came from somewhere treating people like they're stupid for something that the news told them is a ridiculous thing just because you didn't see it i don't know if you guys realize like what you're defending is inhumane it's like unclothed children walking through woods where there's like bears and wild cats you guys are just like just wait just give him a second because you don't want the administration that you want to vote in to look bad and before you say like what was trump gonna do he wasn't gonna do shit either it's your whole government and then you guys are like blaming it and making it political like it was the republicans who voted for that it's your entire government that's a shit show that has failing infrastructure that's allowed it to happen that sent all your money away for wars as well and you're so convinced that you want to get across the finish line with like this shitty administration that you're willing to excuse all of this to get there yeah yes in as much as i don't agree that situation like this should not be politicized when I looked through the mainstream media articles, there was one, they were already saying, oh, that Trump stronghold is being hit by hurricane, that he might cost him the elections. I was like, mm, in North Carolina. So you can see their prayers. If they can be saying this, oh, okay, so they want that this people should be hit. So they should not be able to cast their vote for Trump. <sighs> Sometimes you are bound to even question things which you should not. When I look at that, I read that article with different, uh, it was published by Newsweek, saying Trump is being hit in this area, so people will not come out to vote for him. They don't understand something. People are more motivated when they see a situation like this. You see complaints everywhere. People saying, oh, the government is not doing this enough to help. Some coming out to say, oh, they are blocking really. Like I saw Elon Musk a few hours ago complaining that his team went there to distribute talents. FEMA had to block them, things like that, which I don't know if that was true. So why should that be happening? It is concerning, right? At a certain point, you are about to question things like this because it should not even be this way. Now going to Democrat obsessions with celebrity endorsement. Are you seeing any celebrity happening here? I'm not seeing. This is a time that some of them could act. Where is Oprah that can help people hear suffering? You will not see because they don't benefit. I would rather vote for a man who is convicted on 34 felony counts, but who is willing to put America first than to cast a vote for Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. Today, I wanted to announce that from myself personally, just from my own bank account, I'm donating a million dollars today. I don't know why this is going on. It's the same scenario I saw in Maui, Hawaii. Same thing we saw. I think that this sort of gets at a problem for Kamala Harris's campaign. Just 28% of Americans think the U.S. is on the right track. And I want you to put that into perspective, right? When does the average, when the incumbent party loses the election, look at that. It's just 25%. That looks a heck of a lot like that 28%, right, that currently think the country is on the right track. When the White House party wins, i.e. Kamala Harris's party, the Democrats, 42% on average think that the country is on the right track. This 25% looks a lot more like this 28%. It doesn't look anything like this 42%. This, to me, is a bad sign for Kamala Harris's campaign. I've now lived four years under the Biden-Harris policies. And I have to say that those policies are not only becoming an existential threat. We are not at a point right now to be talking about policy differences. This is not a... Hmm. ...wants to take away your health care. Thanks to you, women in 21 states can't make their own choice about their own life and their... You can see, like, really clearly is there is a ferocious effort 
to stop Donald Trump from becoming president again that I've never seen before. In Donald Trump, baby. Taylor Swift matters. Does she matter to you? Well, she comes out. But I don't think most Americans was Trump. I don't care if they write that. No, it was right. And you guys, I need to be on the right side of history. So with that, I'm going to shake it off. And I'm done with you. Of them. It's like 73% said they're voting for Trump. For Trump. Okay, yeah. She went for the handshake. display of the upper. Like, we shouldn't demean Trump supporters. We shouldn't call them no. names. Trump has come in the spin room, just so you know. That has happened. Newly reported by NBC News, Vice President Kamala Harris has spoken recently and repeatedly with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Uh, you really want Trump to lose this election, right? No, uh, no, no. you don't. You still have to have a controlled border, a secure border. Please register to vote for something else. It's very important. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift, as though I have that power. Uh, 